I'm Joe Barrington, welcome to the British Open 2023. We've got a brand new venue, the Rep Theatre. Uh, to my right, to my left, we've got the youngsters with the PSA Foundation hitting some balls against walls, which is what we want for the younger generation. But as we go into the Rep, let's go and check it out and see uh, what we can find. With it being in Birmingham, it's a very accessible place for everyone around the UK to get to. Birmingham New Street's just a short walk from here. We're going through the main entrance now after you. So this is the main concourse of, of the Rep Theatre. There's so many shows here. It's a very famous uh, theatre. Been going since 1913, would you believe? And it had a big facelift back in 2013. But we've got the cafe, some very, very tasty looking cakes. I'm definitely going to get stuck into the old Victoria sponge at some point. But this is just what you want. As punters are coming in, they're able to get coffees, drinks. The bar is through here as well. Everyone's allowed to take their drinks in as well, which is actually unusual for the rep. So because of the squash events here, they've managed to uh, free up some of the rulings so they can grab a nice beverage and, and get in there and get into those, those very, very comfy seats, which we'll be talking about later. But as we move now through the main concourse, we're going to see uh, some behind the scenes of where all the magic happens. We're now literally backstage of the theatre, so we're going to go through into the, the media area now through these corridors. There's so many doors, it's unbelievable. They've had to even label the doors for me, so I tend to walk straight into them and come through. <laughs> and here we are, here we are, this is it. This is the studio room. So we've got all our crew, as per usual. You see uh, director and one of the friendliest guys ever, Thomas Dwyer, just through there, Dan Dobby. You see Lee Beachall, who's overseeing everything, making sure everyone's behaving themselves. And Steve Line, who's the most, uh, the tightest man when it comes to dark chocolate digestives, and he keeps those uh, very uh, much to himself. But we'll call all the media boys here, we've got to watch what we say. Ian McKenzie, he thinks it's the Canary Wharf Classic, but it is the British Open. But this is where all the magic happens, and we'll have a little pop upstairs to see where the commentary area is as well. Paul Johnson doing his, uh, his preparations there. This is a, PJ is getting a bit of extra, extra uh, uh, shut eye in there, but this is our glamorous position. PJ's commandeered my mastermind chair, trying to take over proceedings, but uh, looking forward to the semis to this afternoon, PJ. Uh, just doing some final preps here, yeah, Joey, obviously. Yeah, absolutely cracking line up with those. That's right, sorry, who's playing? <laughs> This is an extraordinary iPad. This was specially made for PJ. It's about six times the size of any normal iPad. But um, you know, joking aside, this is where, where, where we're based. Hopefully, next year we'll be uh, a bit more closer into, into the theater to really get it. But we get so much of the atmosphere through anyway. The whole building shakes when uh, the rallies start getting exciting. So we, we do feel the atmosphere here, but it would be great to be amongst it. Uh, and you'll be kicking off the first match with Laura Massaro. Can't wait, great lineup, semi finals into the heat of the event now, and uh, all players rightly uh, earn their places in tonight's matches, so I cannot wait. Quick predictions? Uh, Going to go for Shabini. Yep. She'll be a little bit too experienced. Yep. Uh, um, and then in the men's, I'll fancy Mazin to take down Farag. Yep. I think he did good the other night. Uh, Goha looks slick, she's yep. one of all the matches, three loves so far, she looks unflappable at the moment, and then Paul Cole, I just think he's, really? he's just really sort of rock solid, yeah, I think Elias, he had a bit of a scare yesterday, but it's more of a, that could be draining mentally, more than physically. So you've heard it from my partner in crime, PJ, with those predictions, we're now going to head off to the player dressing rooms. We're now in the, the players' area, so we're going to be a little bit quiet. You've got the Terminator doing a, a pre-warm-ups there. Ali Farag is actually just meditating. Yeah. Look, at it, it's showtime. I mean, it's perfect. You've got the light bulb mirrors. There you go, Ali. First time in a theatre for you. Warm-up bikes, as you can see there. So it's very, very well prepped. And this is a really nice kind of cutaway area from everyone else. Uh, we're going to leave the players alone now, get them uh, so they can get properly focused for their, their first match. And we're going to now head to the theatre. 
We're now in the main auditorium of the Rep Theatre. You can see behind me the tier system, 800 strong of the most comfiest seats that anyone's really sat in at a squash event, which makes a big difference when you're watching squash matches that can go on for two hours plus. To my right, the glass court, the immaculate presentation of the glass court. You've got the volunteers who are keeping it uh, spick and span ready for tonight's play. I can assure you this is going to be packed to the rafters later on this afternoon and through this evening. Don't just take my word for it. Look at that, an incredible crowd for an amazing event. Welcome to the British Open 2023.